So if you've noticed, I've been away for a very small hiatus. And during that time, I went to look at uh, finishes for the shower and tub. And I've made my selection. However, the material will not be available until October. So that's a few months away. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the door by painting it, the cabinetry by painting it as well, the water closet that gets painted. And then I'm gonna set up a little bit of decor for the bathroom. So it has more of a spa-like feel. So stick around, there's much more to come. So first things first, I'm gonna remove the hardware from the doors and then I'm going to sandpaper the base of the cabinet um, so that the paint will stick. And that should take me just a few minutes. I'll wipe it down to make sure that there's no uh, paint residue, and then I'll go ahead and get started with the new paint job. First things first, I remove the hardware. Then I was able to take the cabinet doors down. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey to release those screws. Then it was a quick sand with 120 grid sandpaper. Then with a lightly dampened sponge, I went over the entire area that I sanded. Now it was time to paint, and I used a very small roller to get into all of the grooves on this vanity. I went to my local Home Depot to find wood to replace for the vanity. Shout out to Mike and Dallas who cut the wood for me. Much appreciated guys. Each piece of wood was sanded until smooth and I also took a really coarse paper towel to wipe it off. Then it was time to paint each one of the doors. Now, thing to remember, when you're using wood, the color of the paint is going to be drawn in. So one, you'll need to do a double coat and keep in mind that the paint color may need to be a little darker than you anticipated. Don't forget to subscribe because there's more to come. I'm doing a temporary fix of my vanity countertop. I'm not a real fan of ceramic tile unless it's a true decorative ceramic tile. So I'm using this heavy contact paper to put over the tile. Now I've cut it to size and I'm just going to affix it to the tile using my spatula to make sure that I get out all the air bubbles and any wrinkles. Because this area had a rounded edge, I did need to cut at the corner of the contact paper so that I could make a smooth transition around that corner. So as you can see, I'm working in sections. First, the backsplash, and then I worked on the actual countertop, using the spatula to smooth out any wrinkles, air pockets as I went along. Around the curvature of the sink, I made sure that that contact paper was well affixed and used a straight razor to cut the edges. How's this for a temporary revamped countertop? I used the same color on the doors as I did the vanity. I think you're gonna really love the finished look.
plan was to get rid of that wall-to-wall -wall mirror in the bathroom. I wasn't able to do that, but I was able to camouflage it. Here's how. To start off, I made sure that the mirror was cleaned. Now using a pre-pasted wallpaper that is the exact color as the paint on the walls, I cut out the wallpaper to size. Then using the spatula, I smoothed it out, making sure there were no air pockets or gaps. Finally, I grabbed my straight razor once again and cut the end to size. I actually have these acrylic mirrors that I picked up online and I'll leave the link on my website, sherrysdiysecrets.com in case you wanna check it out as well. Now, I'm not sure which direction I am going to lay the actual squares to make sure I don't have any dead space on the mirror. So I'm going to actually run a test on one side with using some tape on one side of the mirror and then I'll do a different direction on the other side of the mirror just to see which one works best. So I'm eager to get started. Well, what do you know, this actually worked. So this is a winner. So I can't tell you, I'm so happy that the squares lined up evenly with um, the mirror. And so I'm gonna go ahead and tape the remaining portion of the mirror just to make sure everything works out soundly. And I cannot wait to show you the end result of this guest bathroom project. So stick around. See you soon.